Unimu kekeleu Ki maishi Allahu Oku Oku Begin to magnify the Lord Exalt his name Give him thanks, give him worship Thank him for the price that he paid today I am glad that Jesus died for me I am glad that he died for me I am rejoicing That Jesus conquered Satan <laughs> I am rejoicing I am rejoicing Where is that joy? I am rejoicing That Jesus conquered Satan I am rejoicing Praise the Lord are you rejoicing? I am rejoicing Let that Jesus come and save us. Come on. I am rejoicing. I am rejoicing. Let me hear your voice. I am rejoicing that Jesus come and save us. I am rejoicing. Praise the Lord. Magnify the Lord. Thank Him again. Give Him all the glory. Tell Him sweet words. Sweet words. You came from heaven to the earth to show the way from the my debt, my debt, you pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I need your name. Give him worship, adore him for agreeing to die for you on the cross. Imagine if Jesus had not gone to the cross, where would you have been? Ah, Yagada Bara 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 Baskin, Basata Yagada Baskin, Rekada Baskin, Raka Yarabas, Shakada Bara Bara Baskin. Balagada Baskandayara Ah, Jesus Mashe Moni Biki Basi Re Oluwa Mio Biponi Ma Wao Biko Basi Re Iru Aseoni Bimba Bimba Adanio, 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 Oba, 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 Anomi soro, 
another annual meeting some of you were here last year and you are here again this year give him all the praise that your life did not depreciate give him all the praise that your life did not depreciate give him all the praise that he has added to you in one way or the other give him all the thanks from your heart yakadama sata yakadama Legate <laughs> Basata ya 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 ba, raka ya ya ba ya ba ya ba, lege de bos, raka ya ya ba skele, lebo bosoto, shaka ya ba ya ba ya ba ya ba ya ba ya ba. Yes 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 yes. Raka ya ba ya ba ya ba skele, shaka ya ba skele, wash it below. Come and give to the Lord. We thank you, Lord. Ah, Ijila. I like Barra, Lolo, Romeo. Most high, all powerful God, we have come for another season of breakthrough. We came last year and we thank you for the breakthrough you gave us this year. We thank you, O oh God, and on every side you answered our prayers. You moved us forward. We broke out of realms that we didn't want to see. And you brought us into realms that we only used to imagine before. You brought us in now. Lord, take all the glory. Hallelujah. As we start today's break tonight, a season to pray, to hold on to the garment of Jesus. Holy Spirit, let every mountain be moved. Let every barrier be moved. Amen. And let testimonies emerge. Amen. 
Thank you, Father, for this is done. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Can we take our seats in His presence with a wonderful clap offering to the Lord? If you are clapping for God, clap, clap like somebody that is clapping for the Lord. Hallelujah. You are welcome again tonight to Breakthrough Night 2023. And the theme of this Breakthrough Night this year is Total Turnaround. Now, and when we talk about Total Turnaround, we are talking about turn in every direction. Hear me. I have had God and I have come as one that has, one, come to partake in the blessing and two, as one that has come to deliver the mandate he has received. God has a message for us. And what he told me when I was preparing for this meeting is that he is going to visit us in every aspect of life. Amen. Now, a Bible student will say, how will the God that dwells in me visit me? It's not a stranger. I've taught us here before. Whenever you hear divine visitation, it means God decides to show up in specific areas of your life with his power of miracles. When God decides to show up in specific areas of your life with miracle power, that's what we call divine visitation. Hallelujah. So we are going straight because we don't have time. We have just one hour, 15 minutes more, both to take the word and to take prayers. By eight on dot, by the grace of God, we are going to drop, I'm going to drop the mic. We are going to share the grace. And we are also going to take, I don't call it communion. I call it the anointed bread and the anointed drink. That signifies the blood and the flesh of Jesus. Now, that's what we are going to use to seal up our prayers tonight. Your prayers shall be answered. Amen. My prayers shall be answered in the name of Jesus. Are you set again tonight? Now bow your heads and tell the Lord your expectation. What are you expecting in tonight's meeting? Bowing down your head is a sign of uh, acknowledgement of the authority of our God. Begin to bow your heads and pray right now. Father, this and this is the reason why I'm here tonight. Mention areas of your life that you need breakthrough. Mention areas of your life that you need breakthrough. The Lord show up for me in so and so areas of my life. Are you praying this evening? Begin to pray. Show up for me, oh God, in so and so areas of my life. I want to see you show yourself, display your power. If what you desire is healing, mention it to the Lord tonight. The Bible says the expectation of the just shall not be cut off, but the just must have expectation. If the just does not have expectation, beloved, there is nothing God wants to bring to pass in his life. Begin to pray. Father, I trust you for this, this, and this. Show up concerning me. Now, if yours is financial breakthrough, if yours is open doors, if yours is favor, whatsoever you trust God for, God is ready, willing, and able to do for you. Begin to tell him. Now, we have, by the grace of God, 15 prayer focus that we are going to undo in today's prayer. Break tonight is a season of prayer. We pray from one realm into another realm. Hallelujah. Begin to pray. I have one more minute to do that before I will uh, summarize and begin to preach. Begin to pray. Father, sure, concerning me in this and that area. Are you praying tonight? Are you praying tonight? Are you praying tonight? Now begin to pray. Every, anything holding me back. When I'm supposed to be going forward, Father, let them be removed. Are you praying? Are you talking to the Lord? Begin to pray, 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 begin to pray. Begin to talk to the Lord in the name of Jesus. Father, show up for me. Lord, show up for me. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name. We are prayed and amen. Praise the Lord. Now, I want to welcome those of you from the Ayegun Church. We welcome you. We celebrate the grace of God in your life. You were the first to come into the hall, but I came ahead of you, Sha. Praise the Lord. I and my wife 
were in church before you came. I also want to thank the Lord uh, for those of us from the Elevel Church. Well, we thank God for you. You came late, uh, but uh, you are welcome. You are well represented. We have uh, our mommy and our, past, our assembly pastor over there in the making. Uh, <laughs> hallelujah. Uh, we also thank God, you know, that by the grace of God from Akubo, make sure you get your space so that we can commission your work. The Akubo people are uh, well represented here tonight. And those of us from the Liberty Church, uh, you are the host, but you came very late. Every other person came ahead of you. In fact, the people from Ayego came ahead of you. Please adjust. The Lord will help and strengthen you in Jesus' name. Are you ready again tonight? If you are not ready for prayer, eh, please, you can go back home. But if you know you are ready for prayer, I will just teach for 10 minutes by the grace of God. Now, and the reason why I'm going to be teaching is to show you that it is possible for you to have total turn around. I will show you scriptures. Now, total turn around is a state of a complete turn in every area of your life. A state of complete turn. I was talking with our teachers. I think I was praying with you people on there. Was it Tuesday? Yes, it was Tuesday. And there were some issues. They were not issues. They were just talking. I was sharing scriptures with them. And I told them that there is nothing that God cannot do. Now, and I shared a testimony. I said, when God blessed me with my first two children, I told God, I thank you for blessing me with the first two children. You know, I appreciate God for their lives. I love female children so much. And I now said, Lord, I am your servant. I told them. I said, I told God, I said, I'm your servant. And as your servant, if there's any area of my life that I am deficient, if I preach this gospel, they will mock me with that area. Ah, the teachers were looking at me. I said, what do you mean? I said, so I told God, I need a male child. So that there will be nothing that the people of the world they will talk about that will say, God has not given me. And I thank the Lord. I said, God gave me what I asked for. That apart from male and female children, do you have another one? They said, no. So what am I saying? There can be what we call a total turn. That's what God has promised to do. And before the next break tonight, that is uh, April uh, 2024, whatsoever you are trusting God for, we already, we already be with you. Amen. Say your amen. amen. It, it, that amen is drawing like a cross soup. Amen. So in break tonight, prophecies will fall, be dropping. You catch it. So I told them, I said, there is nothing. There is nothing that I'm supposed to have. I said, by the grace of God, God has. So when I preach now, I preach confidently. Tell me about anything, I will tell you, God has done it for me. Tell me about anything, I will tell you, I have a taste of it. And that will be your testimony too. Amen. Total turn around. Don't forget, it's a state of complete turn in every area of, of your life. Spiritually, materially, financially, health-wise, and in all direction. Listen, in all direction. I wrote here again. It means positive change all around. That's what our topic is all about. Positive change all around. I come again. Positive change all around. In fact, by the grace of God, I always say, there is nothing I want on this liberty, this liberty road. This all liberty. If you mention my name in some places, ah, Pastor Folabi, is it Pastor Folabi? There was a time we needed a property, you know, and they went to tell the owner of the property. And the property, the owner said, is it Pastor Folabi that needs it? They said, yes. Ah, he said, that pastor, I will give him the place. I will give him the place. He told the people that went to tell them, I will give him the place. And when the lady came back to tell us, he said, sir, I thought I would come and plead. I will go and plead. As I mentioned your name, they said, ah, we know him. We know him so much. We will give him the place. Now, total turnaround. Total turnaround. I ask a question in my note. Has God done it before? And I answered again, yes, with proofs. Now, let's go to those proofs one after the other. In 1 Samuel chapter 30, verse 19, God did it for David. In 1 Samuel 30, 19, the Bible says there was nothing that the enemy took away from him that he did not recover. Please, those of you at the media, you need to be very, very swift. As I quote the scripture, may God bless you with fast fingers, just make sure that the scripture is on screen. Now, look at it. He said, nothing was missing. Young or old, boy or girl, plunder or anything else, they had taken. 
David brought everything back. Look at that. Nothing was missing. In your house, no good thing will be missing. Amen. Let them say, he's a child of God. But even my children used to share testimonies. They will tell me that, Daddy, I entered the examination hall, and somebody just look at me and say, Are you Pastor Afolabi's daughter? You say, Yes, come and sit here. Come and sit here. Anytime they mention, come and sit here. There's what we call total turn. It can happen. So David, and look at it, he said, and there was nothing lacking to them. Neither small nor great. Neither sons nor daughters. Neither spoil nor anything that had been taken to them. David recovered all. Tonight, in this prayer meeting, whatsoever you lack, you will recover. Yeah. Has God done it before? Yes. He did it in the life of Father Abraham. In Genesis chapter 14, verse 16. Look at what he did for Abraham. Abraham was coming from a battle. You know, five kings gathered together to fight. And look at what happened. And he brought back all look at Abraham's testimony, and he brought back all all the goods, and also brought again his brother Lot and his goods, and the women also, and the people. Can you see? And he brought back all. He brought back all everything. So, which means, as a child of God, there should not be any area of your, of your life that you are lacking. Total turnaround is possible. Don't let anybody preach the wrong message to you and tell you, you see, you see, there are some things that God will not give you. Who told you that? That's what we call total turnaround. We have seen two already. Look at the third one. He did it in the life of Peter. In Luke chapter 5 verse 6, in the life of Peter, there was a turnaround. A man who was already washing his boat, getting ready to go back home. Look at it. And when they had this done, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their net break. Kaya, a man that was ready to go home, that they've closed for the day. They didn't catch anything. But Jesus came into his boat. If you are born again, Jesus is already in your own boat. You, you don't need any, any special invitation for him. He's already there if you are born again. And by the time Jesus finished preaching using his boat, Jesus said, cast your net. And he cast his net, beloved. And instantly, he became a point that everybody started talking about. A Look at Peter. So God can bring turn around. Look at another example again. Not only did he do it for Peter, God even went further to do it for that woman with the issue of blood. In Mark chapter 5, 25 to 29, the woman had issue in her body. Her own, she needed breakthrough. She needed turn around in her health. She had spent all she had going to doctors. Now, I'm not saying going to doctor is wrong. But the power of doctor also have limit. There's a point doctors will get to. I have had people's cases like that. That at the point doctors will get to, they will say, well, it has gone beyond medical uh, 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 you know, knowledge. We don't think there's anything we can do. We advise you, if you know anything else you can do to get LD, please, we, 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 are, we allow you. I've, I've had cases like that before. That was the case of this woman. But look at, when the woman went to Jesus, as you have come to Jesus today in this break tonight, the Bible says she did what? One thing that touched me. She touched the garment of Jesus. That's why, listen, in today's meeting, make up your mind to touch the garment of Jesus, which means don't be distracted by the people around. Focus as you are, when it's time to pray, pray like you are seeing Jesus one-on-one. -on -one. Touch his garment. In fact, maybe you did not know the testimony of this break tonight. It was in a time like this that God delivered me from scotting with my uh, uh, in-laws. In fact, it was on a breakthrough day like this, a Good Friday, that I packed into the house that I rented on my own, by myself. And packing to that house too was a miracle. I met a landlord who never knew me from anywhere before. And I told him, he said, my house rent is 60000 As at that time, four-bedroom flat, brown new house. Nobody had ever lived there before. He just finished building it. He said he wants two years. That's one twenty thousand, and uh, you know, by miracle, by miracle, we paid thirty thousand. And after thirty thousand, I asked him, "Can I pack him?" He said, "Pack him." 
And when I packed in, he said, okay. I said, can I be paying rent? He said, no problem. How do I pay? He would just come knock my door and say, Pastor, a Joshua Moli, 2,000 there. By the time I give him 2,000, I say, add it to the receipt. That was how I pay 2,000, 1,000, at times 3,000, at times 1, 5. And it's not that I take to him. He will come and ask, Pastor, move a me, Mobile Moli, 1, 5. Oh, yeah, come on, he said, he said, he said, he said, he came and told me, he said, he said, he said, he said, he said, he said, he that God will visit you in this meeting today in Jesus' name. Has he done it before? Yes, now. He also did. Look at the testimony of Father Abraham. I love his testimony. The testimony of Father Abraham in Genesis 24 verse 1. Genesis 24 verse 1. Look at this. I love that testimony. There was no area of Abraham's life that God did not touch. The Bible says, and Abraham was old. One, old age, long life, and well stricken in age, good health. And the Lord had blessed Abraham in how many things? All. Oh. Has he done it before? Yes. He did it in the life of Hannah. Do you know that Hannah went to the altar? Sat down and began to pray. That was the year that God removed the shame of barrenness from her. Hannah that was known as the barren woman now became the mother of Samuel. Her testimony changed. God that we serve can bring turn around. I wrote here with all these proofs, beloved. It should be clear to you that God indeed can cause a person to enjoy total turnaround. That there will not be an area in a person's life that the hand of God doesn't show. But I want to show you something. From all the cloud, from all this cloud of witnesses whose testimonies we have talked about and seen from scriptures, you will notice one thing, one thing, one thing that is, that is common in the lives of all of them. All their testimonies, you will notice one thing. You will notice a radical kind of faith. All of them, you will notice radical kind of faith. Starting from Father Abraham, he had 318 men and five kings, five nations. The army of five nations ganged up together. And he told his men, let's go and fight. What's that? Now faith. Radical faith. Let's go and fight. The Lord has promised us victory. We will win in this battle. And he went and he came back. The Bible says he recovered all. Then we had David. David who had only 600 men. But they were going. 200 men were too tired to go on. The 400 became so radical enough. We will follow you, sir. We will. And the Bible says they got there. They fought for 24 hours. From afternoon to evening the next day. And the Bible says they recovered all. Or do we talk about the, that woman with uh, the issue of blood? Normally in Israel, when a woman has issue, you don't come out. You don't touch anybody. Anybody you touch becomes defiled. But this woman decided, even if they are going to stone me, I don't mind. I will make sure. The Bible says even among the she passed through the crowd to touch Jesus. You know one thing I discovered about people of today, why they don't enjoy testimonies and miracles the way they should, is this. Our faith is not radical enough. We, I'm telling you, the today's Christians, our faith is not radical enough. Look at Anna. Nobody called prayer point for her. Today, even when they call prayer points, some people will still be yawning. She went to the altar, sat down there, yeah, bah, 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 and she was praying. And by her own self, it was not her husband that vowed. Some wives here, you are living on, you want to be living on the covenant of your husband. It doesn't work that way. Everybody must have his own covenant with God. And are you hearing me? Now, if you don't understand what I'm saying, go and read the book of Daniel. You will see that as at the time that King Nebuchadnezzar built an image that people should bow down. Daniel was already recognized by King Nebuchadnezzar because he interpreted, not only interpreted, he told the dream, the king, his dream. The dream is for, he forgot. The king now said, wow, you could remember my dream. Even my astrologers could not. I promote. He promoted Daniel. Daniel introduced the four brothers, the three brothers, Hebrew brothers, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, to him. He promoted all of them because of Daniel. But still, this king erected an image and said, if you don't bow, you'll be cast into the fire. Did Daniel bow? No, because he already recognized the God of Daniel. 
But Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were promoted based on the connection they had to die. He said, I don't know you, these three. Are you getting what I'm saying? You need your personal faith. And these three men decided, okay, no problem. Sir, if you are going to do anything, do it. We will not bow. Do you know that it was when they were brought out of the fire that he now said, now I know that the three of you, your own God. So the, the, this generation, we are not radical enough. Hannah did not consult her husband before she made vow. Because it was not her husband that was put to shame now. The husband already had children from another woman. But she was on the altar. She was saying, Lord, Lord. And she was praying. Yeah, God, God. While she was praying, Lord, if you give me a son, I will give you back. Lord, if you give me a son, I will give you back. Lord, if you give me a son, I will give you back. Priest, Eli, the Bible says his eyes was weak. He didn't know what was happening. He didn't know who was on the altar. He now said, that woman that is drunk on the altar, she was radical. Some of us are radical too. And we are expecting God to come out with miracles. It doesn't work like that. Are radical too. How many of you have solid covenant with God? That you yourself know that you are following that covenant. When God had a vow, the priest said, Woman, whatever you are praying about is done. She left. The priest did not know her vow. So she did not have, she did not owe the priest anything. But when she got home, God saw her heart, saw her commitment that this one is serious. This one is not trying to fall one eye me. It's serious. God gave her a son. She came back to the church and told the man of God, I made a solemn promise to God. That if he gives me a son, I will give him. Beloved, as at the time she was, she was paying vow, she didn't have another child at home. It takes radical faith to break through. You don't understand. It takes radical faith to break through. When I'm talking about fruit of the womb, I know what we went through. Three, first three years of our marriage, we didn't have a child now. Somebody give us a money. We, a, 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 when I say, as at that time, the money was huge. And we didn't have any member that could give us money to build anything. I and my wife agreed. The money they gave us to go and do tests. To seek for medical aid. We gave it to the church. Am I not the pastor of the church? And after that, so, 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 I'm supposed to be saying, am I not the pastor? Well, what are we giving? Or let's go and give it to one single man. We gave it to the church. And when we gave it to the church, we used it to build part of the church. We put roof on the church that time. At our backside. Backyard. And we're living on. We went back to the hospital. The doctor said, Sir, Madam is not menstruating. We need to be giving her drugs, place her on some uh, 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 drugs for her to menstruate. Then we know that she's ovulating. Then we can calculate. It was a mixed that. She got pregnant. We didn't know. She was falling sick. We didn't know she was pregnant. Look at all of them. They were radical. Today's Christians, we are, too, we are too simple, yet we want miracle. How did we receive our son? It was on this altar. My wife just took up the assignment to be taking care of the altar. And every time they finish decorating the altar, she will kneel down here, she will pray. She didn't tell me that God promised her. One day she was praying after she had beautified the altar. See, nobody's supposed, you don't need anybody to see you. You don't need anybody to thank you. When you are fulfilling your covenant vow with God. She said, well, while she was praying here, she had, God said, I will give you a son for taking care of my altar. I will give you a son for taking care of my altar. I will give you a son for taking care of my altar. I will give you a son for taking care of my altar. And this is the name of the boy. She took the name and put it on the altar. It has never happened in my family before. I'm talking about my own family, Prince Philafolabi family, for my wife to give me a name. Every of our children, I conceived the name. And I'll tell her, this is what God told me. When she received this boy's name, she didn't tell me. Because she knew that it's not her, it's not, it's her, it's not her office. It's my own office. But it, I was shocked. My mother, of blessed memory, as at that time she was alive, she called and asked me, Pastor, is here missing pregnant? I said, Mommy, what happened? He said, I saw a boy. Very light in complexion. His name shall be so so and so. Did you know that later 
I checked the name she wrote on the altar, and the name my mommy told me the same thing. Most of us are not radical enough. Oh God, I'm trusting you for healing. Let them go and pray. You won't pray. Let them take time to be with God. You'll be looking, checking time. It doesn't work that way. See, I hear. You didn't hear. See, I hear. One thing that I noticed that is common with all of them is that they were radical with their faith. They were so radical, so radical, so radical. In their, all of them had the same thing in common. Starting from Father Abraham. Moving next to King, to King David, even to talk about Hannah. I wrote here, they all had the Takwology kind of spirit. You know what they call Takwology? It's English combined with Yoruba together. I was listening to a uh, 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 Pastor Chris Oyakilome. He said he woke up one day and saw that his daughter was paralyzed from waist down. You've had it. He said he prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed. Nothing happened. He said, and he believed God for her healing. That every day he will be prophesying. My daughter is healed. My daughter will not be paralyzed. They went to the hospital. The, doc the doctor said, if she's going to come around, it's not going to be quick. It will take years. He said, but one day. He said, because I prophesy on her legs every blessed day. Can you see the radical part of it? Every blessed day, I prophesy to her legs. Every blessed day. He said, until one day. My wife just called me from the office. He said, honey, come home. Come and see your daughter. Honey, come home. Come and see. He said he got home. He saw his daughter walking. We are not radical enough. Ah, takuto. To ba jeke ba shin sing, na shin sing ba yen. Esa, kuni si yanu. Ah, miracle 1930. Tons of yanu, yanu 19, she 1930. 19, 19, 19. I want baba lola yi bi adura. E lo mi ti wambe. Eh, no aduanye, wakati me fa, uduwa, ani ren. My mother in law told me one, ke pastor, she had got testimony, and won okuti, won ji, ni koye jo, muni taloji, won ni apostle, baba la noni, ni muni, won ni koye, won la won wambe. Mama said she was there. He said, wakati me son, ni won fik badua. Komo beni eto didi. Osi lo yun sinu. Wakati me son, ni won fik badua. I No! To break through, you need a tacology spirit. Do you know how many times Prophet Elijah prayed? Lord! He would tell the servant, go and check. The servant will go and check. Ah, Esa, ah, Marowo Joe, there is no sign of rain. Ah, you say, okay, go back and check. The, the man prayed seven sessions. And if you look at Jesus before going to the cross, what did he tell his disciples? He said, watch and pray that you may not fall into temptation. He went and came back. He saw them sleeping. He said, could you not watch, wait with me for how long? For one hour? Which means I only went to pray for one hour. And by the time I came, look at you, you are dozing. You don't just enter testimonies. You break into it. That's why your faith must be radical. Have I exceeded 10 minutes? I, I, I didn't want to preach. I just want to share. So we are going to pray some, some dangerous prayers tonight. The woman with the issue of blood decided to go radical. You know, to touch Jesus. Hannah, in a tacology kind of prayer, prefer, sorry, uh, 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 went on the altar and refused to keep quiet. Peter decided to disobey the, the experience of fishing that he had in order to get results. David fought for over 24 hours to recover all. It means that you must go radical in faith actions to get the results you desire. To get the results you desire, what do you do? You go radical. In fact, on long so me to see we want prayer. On so me to see we want prayer. On the long so. On roti tossi e talu yako di de toni ulua 
mi o ma ni dake mi o ma ni dake ma ma gbadura ti le ma fi mo oluwa tititi eyin olorun ma fi da mi lo ta lo ye ko gba iwo ni e ti gba gbe ni ohun to se jacob ni e bibeli ni ibi to tin lo lo ru o so fa won awon iyawo ati awon mo ati gbogbo awon eru e pe eyin e ma lo nwaju mo nbo bo se padi arakunrin kan to jo olorun ni e pe ah ah eni o te mi ri eni la so i call it i wrote it in my note i call them angelic man because the man did not take the form of an angel he's an angel but took the form of man jacob held him i will not let you go now let me ask you what was jacob looking for as at the time he was holding on the angel asking for the blessing he had two wives as at the time he was asking for the blessing he has given back to all his children he had 12 children as at the time he was asking for the blessing he had three droves of livestock which means first group second group his property they could not move together so where, what was he actually asking for you know what jacob was asking for he knew that all the things he had he got them by sweat he needed a peculiar kind of blessing let me tell you this if you are blessed you won't sweat to rise something will be working for you there's a difference in between you working for yourself and something working for you if you don't get to that place of something working for you you think that some people are using charm but listen when you get to the realm of the blessing i'm telling you the fact even you yourself will not be able to explain you will not something is actually that's what is happening to me something is actually working for me and i see need more so when the angel asked the man asked what do you want Kinode to takuti me. Nti mo she muja de ni takology spirit in any mufe ke ni. Ki she peke badua shuku shuku. I she juma lu ke wale ti badua. On fwen ni medical report. She oda. Ode ni. Ha. O lo so di yota. O badua after five days. O kada lo so spitu. Medical report. Yen she di be. O alo lo lo she. O lo lo down wadua. La ni she juma lu prayer to ba. Go and ask our fathers. They will tell you. That one hour. They are still praying. Speaking in tongue, ya gata ge de bosoto ya Lord, this is not for me. Basata ya ge de bosoto, Lord, this is not for me. One hour, once you want me, your body, your son, Father, Father, there's God here, yeah? there's Jesus. Oh, he's undone, and you stand up. If not daily, stop Hannah. Hannah was not ready to stop. Her. I don't, I don't think you are hearing me. Do you know why I have peace? Do you know why I'm progressing? I got everything I got from the time through that apology spirit. Before I got married, as a young brother, in the middle of the night, I'll be praying. I can pray from night till morning. Lord, the wife that will not trouble me. Lord, where is that woman that you have for me? Every battle, you know, I will pray. When it was time, he answered me. The same thing I did over the children. The same thing I'm doing over my ministry. The same thing I'm doing over all my relationships. You need to be tacology enough. There are some things that no, nobody can do for you. Nobody should do for you. Go read the story of Jacob. The Bible says he got to a point. The angel, that angelic man, wrestled and wrestled. He could not beat down Jacob. Uh -uh. It means that Jacob didn't change his spare point. Then he touched the heap. The hip dislocated. Jacob said, I say, you are not going anywhere. Lord, I'm serious with this matter. Lord, I'm serious with this matter. You know, I had one testimony that makes me know that God used to hear prayers. A man went to the mountain to pray. And he told God, I will not stop fasting until you answer me. And God knew that he will die. And God was only to answer him. He was on the 19th days of fast. He was on the 19th day. See, praying and fasting. Praying and fasting. God had to speak to somebody on that mountain. Go and tell that man, this is the color of the shirt he's wearing. This is where he is at the corner. Tell him that what he's asking me to do is what I cannot do for him. Ah, God is so concerned to that point. God is so concerned to that point. So he's fasting and prayer. He's touching God. And God doesn't want him to die. So the other man now went to him and said, and they, they, they found him where he was busy praying. And Joshua, he let him go away. 
at a dwarf for 19 days. Only me non ni. Olu ani ka so fun yin pe ohun te en ti tori e gbadura ko won olorun o ni se fun yin won ni ma yen ba bu sekun won ba bi lo e ke ejo kini adua te n gba gan olorun gbadura pe ki olorun ku pe un sinu se ran se oluwa pe mi oluwa pe mi oluwa fun mi ni pe mi o ni da ki adua afi teyin olorun ba pe mi oluwa lo won ni pe yin o ohun ni yin pe Et it is that way. You know what touched me? It's not that God was hearing his voice. God didn't want to use him for the ministry. So that he would not kill himself. He had to send somebody to go and tell him, stop. There is nothing you need that God doesn't have in abundance. Yes, sir. Did you hear me? Yes, sir. One of our men, he comes to church occasionally. He's a pastor. I was looking for a miracle. I know that my wife is born again. He was telling me. He said, my wife is born again. He's a solid member of this church. But he doesn't come, except there's a problem. He said, so this particular day, my wife told me to fast and pray and go and see a white man. He said, so as I was going, I made up my mind. And this man loves strange women. Loves strange women so much. He said, that day he fasted. He said, I promised myself. He said, Pastor, time will be never to me. Me, my husband, I'm in the I'm in the world. Ah, I'm in the world. I'm Oluwa oni bo nse de waju oyibo oyibo yen ni o daruko e o daruko company e ah ah oni what's happening to you what's happening to your business when my business collapse do you know what i'm going to do for you now what do you want he says sir i want my factory my coolroom to rise again the white man said okay okay i will call all my men they will offload three trailers of fish to your coolroom tomorrow morning but the only thing is that when he got back, got the thing, he didn't return to prayer again. God answers prayers, but you must be tacology enough. You need to have a serious spirit, a radical kind of faith. I will not let you go unless. When the angel saw that, this Jacob is serious, so. I want you to be serious tonight. Ayeshi Poloke. Isaleni Utisayema. Do we talk about healing? Healing plenty for heaven. The grace is available. Are we talking about babies? Babies are available. I've shared with you here before now, Mommy Lawrence's testimony. Mommy Lawrence had already given birth to eight children, and she said, It's okay. But that particular day, she said she was at home. She was sleeping. And she saw in her dream an angel brought a baby. And the angel said, Interpret a church in the And you know what it means? Because Bible says a double-minded uh, fellow should not think I ever receive anything. Who knows that maybe at that particular time, when the angel was coming, those people have concluded, oh, So mommy said, she was telling the man, ah, ah, make your one lay. Kill a fair fit He said, the man said, Ongbo butiwa fito. And she woke up. That's her son. We, you had the testimony. Made it, did well in the law school, I mean, the, in the university. Became the second best performing student. The state governor had to sponsor his education and told him to go and bring his mom. They gave his mom, mommy gift, cash gift, and they sponsored him. Now, while he was going to school, they're going to law school. Do you know? That two firms gave him, gave him automatic job. He came out of law school. They gave him job and car. The mommy told me, he said, sir, one miracle or the other will always happen whenever we need money to pay institution. God answers prayers. But you must be tacology enough. This, uh, uh, you know, if it is your will, let me go. If it is not your will, let me stay where I am, Jerry. It won't work. You know what David said? Should I pursue them? 
Will I overtake them? Will that drugs, will that recover all? I'm looking for Christians with that fire. That's what I want to see in, this night, in tonight's prayer meeting. That fire. Christians that will not settle for, well, if God, if this is where God wants me to be, God wants you to be better. Prayer point number one. Are you set? I didn't hear you now. Second Thessalonians chapter one, verse six, NIV version. Second Thessalonians chapter one, verse six, NIV version. Legada basin. What do I do? NIV version. NIV version. Second Thessalonians chapter one, verse six. He said, God is just. He will pay back trouble to those who trouble you. Sherry prayer point number one. I bati mo unko, e mo unko tu wasi milokon. Ulu wani bubu a wong ton di e lono. Bubu a wong ti ofe ki a wong kon re kon shele no a ye. Bubu a wong to joku toni se. A wong ni jeku la. A wong la fe koko di pe lula le. Everyone standing on the way. Look at what the King James Version says. Look at what the king says. There's one that uses affliction and distress. I'm looking for that one. Show me fast, 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 fast. Is it this one? He says, see, it is, a, it is a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Prayer point number one. Say after me. Oh God, it is time. I didn't hear you. Say again. Arise. Begin to repay with affliction and trouble. Everyone troubling my life, troubling my health, troubling my marriage, troubling my destiny. I want to your me. Turn your to ilera me. Turn your aye me lenu. Oluwa fi yonu be wo. Are you set? The day Lori is there. The day. The day. Look, I want to bash it on shit. You ain't learn. You don't know my bawo. Look, it's it's in the Bible. That's why. That's why some people. That's why after tonight's prayer, some people will call some of you and begin to beg you. Forgive them. But push them far from your life. They are the ones behind your case. Sin. It is. It is a righteous thing. Only on to turn on it. That God, with God, to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Now, let's take it again. Say after me. Once I say it, you say it after me. Once I say it's time to pray, you begin to pray. Say, oh God, oh God. It, is it is time. Arise. Begin to repay with affliction and trouble. Everyone troubling my life, troubling my health, troubling my marriage. Trouble my destiny. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Let's go radical. Come on. Begin to pray. And it go go and want to you a ye meleno. To you a to ilera meleno. Oh no, I feel you no be one wo. Begin to pray. Are you talking to the Lord? Rekada babas. Let get the boss. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Oh no, I feel you no be one wo. Father, visit them with trouble. Father, visit them with trouble. Rekada babas. Everyone behind my health condition. Everyone behind it. Everyone behind my crisis. Father, visit them with trouble according to your word. Are you praying? 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 Regada babas, linge de bosa, shagada basi, ringa de baba ba, basata yaga de baski, rege de bosa na, ringa de ba, shagada bara basi, basanta yaga de bari, rege de gres, basata. Are you praying? 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 Are you talking to the Lord? Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. You are not radical enough. You say, Lord, visit by fire now. Everyone troubling my health. Visit by fire now. Everyone troubling my business. Visit by fire now. Everyone troubling my destiny. Open your mouth and turn into prayers. Begin to pray. Father, visit them by fire. Wherever they are. 
I don't want to know who they are to me. Are they family members? Father, visit them by fire. Father, visit them by fire. Begin to pray. Shagada bara 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 bas. Renge de bos. Lagada bas. Shege de bos kene. Oya gbadua. Oluwa fi no be won wo. Gbogbo awon to yo aye mi lenu. Ah, to yo eto ilera mi lenu. Begin to pray. Regada baba bas. Shagada bara bos. Lege de gede. Rege de bos sada. Ani gbogbo awon to sa pa mo sinu okunkun. Fun Tamil of IB. Oluwa fi no be won wo. Oluwa fi yo no be won wo. Ah ah, gbogbo awon to nda nti mo nko jo ru. Oluwa fi no be won wo. Everyone scattering what I'm building. Church them by fire, Lord. Begin to pray. You have seen it in the word of God. You have seen it in the word of God. Oh God, visit them. Repay them with distress and affliction. Everyone troubling my life. Everyone troubling my health. Everyone troubling my ministry. Everyone troubling my marriage. Everyone troubling my destiny. Begin to pray. Regada ba 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 ba. Shake the boss, Kenny. That's satire. Ring the gate, say. Ring the barabas. Leg the gate, the gate, say. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Stretch forth your two hands. Let me use this first one to pray for you. Mukbadu afun eluru kojes. Ani gbogbo awon to so ara won di alagbara okunkun. To nje gaba lori e. To nje gaba lori n to je ti e. Mo pa lase mo ni ki Olorun ko fi iyonu be won wo. May the Lord visit them with trouble. Amen. May the Lord visit them with trouble. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You are delivered from their bondage now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. I say you are delivered from their bondage. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Fake number two. Put on screen. First Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 18. First Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 18. The prayer point is this. Every Satan stopping, stopping me from being prosperous. Stopping me from being healthy. Stopping me from having good and stable job. Stopping me from having the children of my desire. You are going to diversify it. Because look at the scripture. Look at the scripture. Uh, uh, where, are, where are we? First Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 18. 2 18. 2 18. 2 18. Yeah, God have I say, Linge de both lovers. He said, Therefore, we wanted to come to you. Who knows whether your children want to come to you like this? Who knows whether your epa of destiny wants to come to you like this? Who knows whether good job wants to come to you like this? Who knows whether open door wants to come? He said, We wanted to come to you, even I, Paul, time and again, but Satan hindered us. Ah, look at this. It's in the scripture. We wanted to come. Some of you are saying, Papa, Mulala, Murio, Mommy, Ofewa, Um, Oh no, Muari, Kini, Kombi, Odi, Towa, Waju, Kujeko, Dodo, Me, and once I turn it to you, Fekiri, Tell, Lower, Near, and Wolofe, Bawin, Say, Ono, She, Get, Break, Tonight, Say, After Me, Every Satan, I didn't hear you, Hindering, Me, From, From, Sorry, Every Satan, Hindering Me, From, Being, Prosperous, From, Being, Healthy, from having a very stable job. I command you. Get out of the way now. In the name of Jesus. Turn into prayers and begin to pray. Begin to pray. And every Satan. Regardless. Standing on my way. Hindering me. From being prosperous. Hindering me. Shagadabasatayarabaskinim. From enjoying supernatural open doors. Get out of my way now. In the name of. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Ragada Baba say. Shagada Baba say. And this Atani Wolova Lono me. Tio Jekin Rono Lo. Emma Go Rolua. Nio Ruko Jes. Oya Ebila. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Ragaya Rabaske. Shagada. He was Atani Tio Jeng Badway to Elira me. Leave the way in the name of Jesus. You Satan that doesn't want me to enjoy my ministry. Leave the way in the name of Jesus. Are you praying? Ragada Baba Baba. Shagada bara, rengo di araba, basata ya gada gada gada. Begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. Command them to leave the way. Regada basa. Every Satan hindering me from becoming a father. Mention your own. From becoming a mother. From becoming gainfully employed. 
from becoming a graduate. Regada Baba say, Leave my way. Begin to pray. Legada Barabas. Shagada Barabas. Regedegedes. Rakaya Rabase. Basata Yagadaba. Balengedegedes. Legedegedes. 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 Ah, Oyak Baduase. Baduase. Ah, ah. Satani won you of Eko Nile. Si of Eko Donile. Sofu Koko Lono. Oh, be your duty, titi, titi, titi. Lati Kowojo. Kosheshe. Satani won you of Eko Kowojo. Sofu Koko Lono. Rekadabas. Oh, be your duty, Tiati Loyu. Oh, Royuni. Satani won you of Jako Royuni. Sofu Koko Lono. Pick it up, pray. Ah, ah. Oh, washa kiri titi. Oh, rishashe. Satani won you of Jako Rishashe. Palashe Koko Lono. Leave the way in the name of Jesus. Are you praying? Are you praying? Are you praying? Vase telebos, regede gede, balagada barabas, shagada barabos, lenge de gede. Oya gadua, ah ah. Oshe mama shisha shisha shisha. To rawo yo. Satani wolo walo no. Si oje ko rawo yo. Balashe ko kolo no. Balashe ko kolo no. Leave the way. Leave the way. Leave the way. Leave the way. Leave the way now. Basada ya. Regede gede gede. Basoto yenge de bosa. Raka yarabara. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Echo your amen very well. Amen. We have three prayer points under it. Number no, the second one under it. That's prayer point number three. You say every Satan holding that which is rightly mine. <laughs> now, totu masikwe bubu satani to di eto mi mu because there are some people like Satan. They say there's nothing you can do. Moti bamu banu. Ah, we are going to command. You say after me. Say every Satan holding that which is rightly mine. I command you in the name of Jesus. Release it now to me. Release it now to me. Open your mouth and begin to pray. It, begin to pray. It was a tiny. To di unto jete mimo. Boro lua. Mo pala sheni oruko jesu. Oya bere sini yon die for me. Bere sini yon die for me. Bere sini yon die for me. Are you praying? Reke de ge de ge des, raka da ba da ba da ba, shaka da ba ra, ringo ya da ba, ba sa ta ya ga da ba se ke le bosa, shaka da ba, oya yondai, yondai, release it, come on, you Satan, release that which is mine. That's in your hand in the name of Jesus. Release the members of this church. Let them begin to come in. Let them begin to come in. Re ba ba sa, I command God's five angels to come in. Begin to grow beyond us. Are you praying? 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 Reke de ge de ge de ge de se. Basata ya. Lege de boske de. Shagada baske de. Raka ya rabase. Basata ya gada. Lega da ba 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 ba. Are you praying? 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 Ah. Thank you father. In Jesus mighty name we pray the last one under this prayer that's our prayer point number four but prayer point number three under this prayer you say every satan blocking the way of my helpers preventing them from reaching me your time is up in the name of jesus get out of their way look at paul he said i tried i i wanted to come i tried to i wanted to come no matter how gifted you are, if you lack help, you will still struggle. It is help that makes the journey of a man easy. Help that makes the journey of a man smooth. Are you said? Say every Satan. You are not talking like a soldier now. Blocking the way of my helpers. Preventing them from reaching me. Your time is up. I command you. Leave the way! In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Every Satan blocking the way of my efforts of destiny, preventing them from reaching me. Leave the way. Your time is up. Leave the way. Leave the way. Leave the way. 
Regada bara bara, ringe de ge de ge de, shagada bara, lingo de arabaskene. Command them to leave the way. 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 Yagada ba, basoto yenge de bos, shagada bara ba, basende ge de, ringe de ge de, basata yagada. Command them to leave the way. Command them to leave the way. Come on, leave the way. My helpers begin to locate me. 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 In the name of Jesus. Basoto yegere, ringe de gere gere se. Basoto yegere. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Prayer point number five. Ecclesiastes chapter six, verse one and two. We have three prayer points on that. Ah, we want to, number one, we want to deal with every stranger. Put it on screen. Thank you. It says, there's an evil which I have seen under the sun. And it is common among men. So it means it's something that is not strange. It says, a man to whom God has given riches and wealth and honor, so that he lacks nothing for himself of all he desires, yet... God did not give him power to eat of it. But a foreigner consumes it. Show me the old King James Version. He says a stranger. Look at the old King James. He said there is an evil which I have seen under the sun. And it is common among men. You know when somebody says so something is common, it means it is not scarce. It is something you cannot do without sin. He says a man to whom God had given riches wealth and honor, so that he wanted nothing to, for his soul and all that he desired. Yet God giveth not power to eat thereof, but a stranger eat it. Ah, who are strangers? I want you to say, Men to unlock a caniel to jeku wa two time ti kore de, tan jeku a wano afe joko, ah, so pe kusaye. Kusaye, kusaye. They were not there when you were laboring and building. Ah, we are going to pray. Prayer point number one. Say after me. Eh, ah, where, where am I? Okay. Say you stranger. You stranger. Working hard. Working hard. To, prevent to prevent me. From taking my rightful place. Right. When harvest come. Die now. Die now. Die now. <laughs> Don't she share she kara. Lati bai joko mi joko. Ti koro eba de. Oyak bai ku re bai. Ah, you said turn it to prayers. Wait, in Jesus' name. Ah, I told you, you must maintain that technology spirit. We watch one Christian film. One Christian film. One Christian film. You are going to dig with them. That's one of the prayers we are going to pray. Look you are going to pray. 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 Thank you. I love that. God forbid. You are not there when you are paying school fees. Now say, eh, abu, mini abu, that day, mini baba, and say, say, God forbid. So, we could say, say, ah, say, if I lead you, say, yeah, yeah, you are, they are not there now. In the days when you say, ah, ah, you see, what happened is, Kusun Jelly, and Monkota Machi, Daddy Amara, Eka Kajaki, Amara, Kujunje, Timmy Ati Losu. They were not there. It should be your rightful place when Amara is graduating from university. That you see my daughter. It should be you, not your brothers. I love my brothers, but they should not take my place. I love my sisters, but they should not take my place. Say after me, every stranger. I didn't hear you clearly. Working hard to prevent me from taking my, my rightful place when harvest time comes. Die now! Open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every stranger. And they go go a little. Don't she share she cara? Ah ah. Lati she me nidi. Lati 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 repeat mati kore ba de. Me on the right a choko. Oh yeah, daiku yiku. 
die in the name of Jesus. Yakada bara 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 basa, shagada bara basa, basoto yengere. Begin to pray, 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 begin to pray in the name of Jesus. I am the one laboring. I am the one that will enjoy. I am. Strangers will not succeed to unseat me. Strangers will not succeed to unseat me. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Rema ma 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 ma. Lege de bosa. Shagada bara. Lege de gris. Basa ta yanga da. Rege de gris. Badua fura. Olua lori oma. Ah ti a koko ekore bade. Olua. Eni a jojo ni gba ishe mi she. Loru ko jesu. Loru she a ronse gospel evangelical mission ti mo nse. Olua shana for me. Ma je ki a le jo gba e to me. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. On the day of harvest, strangers will not take my place. Strangers will not take my place. Baseke de bosanda ya gadabas. Shagada baskene. Renge de baskene. Basata ya. Renge de bos. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Ah, quarter to pray sharp, sharp. Take the next one. That's number six. Say, I will not commit the error. That we make strangers to take my place during harvest because some strangers capitalize on your mistake. They are going shame mistake, huh? One of our cleaners that work in the church was telling me her daughter, Daddy Egba me. Omo mini. Once he saw daughter me. And that was how her, her first daughter died. Her first daughter confined in her elder sister. Love her elder sister, but hate her mom. Iba to kuno wapi. Ele to tu wasu mono. O no, tu ti be esini shebe. Olo mo ni ki, mo ni pe mo, mo ni e wo, e wo no adua. Sherry ogun yi, wafi ingba o malo wo yi. Mo le ti gabi pe esofu mi pe bi, a koko toku, bo she she nani, o kon kuri ra yi, ku feri yi, an ti yi ni, kan lo wafi emba soro. Ti tofi wa dagi, tofi wa sofu yi po ti ku. Mulele ina nsi, she anti ina nula anti una ni. Emi she 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 she, ti a lejo fira ye wole. Lord, you are king, my journey no ikole emi. Olu ama joba le mi oya sorry adura. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray for myself. Regarda ba sendele bosh, rababa. I will not commit the error that will make strangers to take my place. During harvest time, in the name of Jesus, lege de bos, ringa de barabas, basa taya gada gada gada. Pray for yourself. Pray for yourself. Ah, mi unishi she, mi unishi nubi ki alejo fi wale. Inu unishi ah, mi unishi nubi. Ulu amaji anshi esegbe. Ma jen shishé, bobo, emi shishé shishé. To ma jen ki awan ale jo ibu ibi, konra ye gbeto mi, olu ama jen shé. Are you praying for yourself? 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 Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray and amen. The last one under it. Show me that verse too. You will see, I saw something. That so God indeed give people riches. Look at this verse two. He said, "A man to whom God had given riches." So God give riches. God give wealth and God give honor. You are going to ask for it. Are you set? Say, "Oh God, you are the giver of riches, wealth, and honor. Bless me with riches. Bless me with wealth. Bless me with honor." According to your word, open your mouth and begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Father, you are the giver of blessing, of riches, of wealth and honor. Oh God, bless me with wealth. Bless me with riches. Bless me with honor, oh God. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Rapasata yagadabas. Shengede boskenere. Ragayere baskene. Bless me with it, Lord, with riches. Bless me with wealth. Bless me with honor. 
oh God, in the name of Jesus. Basata Yangadaba, Regede Gedes, Lakaya Rabaskenere, Shakada Baskenere, Rakada Babas. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Now look at this number eight that we want to pray. We want to cross over now. Now you want to cross from where you are. To where you desire to be. You know, when I was preaching, I told you, I told God, I desire a son. I crossed into it. When we moved to a level, we are having issues. I told God, we needed cars that are higher to the ground, higher from the ground. Not because of uh, any other thing. The road is bad. He did it. That's why, listen, we want to cross. What do we want to do? We want to cross. God said to Moses, I have heard the cry of my people. I have seen their afflictions. He knows you need to get married. He knows you need to have a child. He knows you need a job. Now, but listen, in between where you are and where you ought to be, there are certain things that doesn't want you to cross. Under this segment, we want to address. You will speak with authority in this segment. Show me Exodus 14, 13 to 16. Exodus 14, 13 to 16. And Moses said unto the people, Fear you not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he shall show to you today. For the Egyptians whom you have seen today, you shall see them again no more. 14. Amen to that too. The Lord shall fight for you. Amen? Amen. And you shall hold your peace. Amen. Amen. And the Lord said unto Moses, Wherefore criest thou unto me? Why are you crying to me? Speak unto the, the children of Israel that they go forward. I speak to you. It's time to go forward. Amen. He said, But this is the condition. But lift thou up thy rod and stretch it out. And stretch out thy hand over the sea and divide it. Wait, I don't know whether you took the stretch forth your rod. Point your hand towards the sea. Divide it. Which means you have authority to divide whatsoever is standing in between you and where you ought to be. Now, what is that rod? That rod of Moses then is the name of Jesus now. Now, is it a medical reason? That has not made you to become a father. You will speak now to that. You put all under Red Sea condition, hindering my crossing to the next level. Is it because you don't know anybody that you have not gotten a job? It's a Red Sea con condition. Is it age that has not allowed you to be married? It's a Red Sea condition. It's time to speak. Do you understand me? God said to Moses, You divide it, which means it is your, by your speaking. That will give way. Now, say after me. Be very full of authority as you speak. Every Red Sea kind of condition. I can't hear you. Hindering the coming of my miracle. Now, when it's time, you mention those things that are your miracle. Begin to give way now. You will now shout in the name of Jesus. Do you get it? God didn't come down again. He has told Moses what to do. Now, God doesn't need. Now, he has told you what to do. This is my belief. By next year's breakthrough night, you are coming to share as testimony what is your prayer point now. Yeah. Now, are we set? Now say after me. Every Red Sea kind of condition. Every Red sea kind of condition hindering the coming of my miracles. Begin to give way. Now. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to turn into prayers. In the name of Jesus. Every Red Sea kind of condition. Hindering the coming of my miracle. Hear ye the voice of the Lord. Give way now. In the name of Jesus. Prophesy. 
that medical condition, command it to give way, give way, give way, give way. Rekada babase, legedebos, lekada barabase. Are you decreeing? Are you decreeing? Are you decreeing? Basata ya gadabaske, shegedebose, legedebose, basata ya gadabaske. Balengede, are you prophesying? Begin to prophesy. 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 In Jesus, mighty name, we pray. Take the next one on it. Say after me, by the authority, in the name of Jesus, every Pharaoh bragging and mocking me. Now, who are the Pharaohs? They are the braggados. Bragging, bragging against you. Who are they? They are the ones mocking you. Which kind of God do you say you are serving? You say, oh God, put them to shame. Every Pharaoh mocking me. Every Pharaoh laughing at me. Use my miracle to put them to shame, oh God. Open your mouth and begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Before the next breakthrough night, before the next breakthrough night, Father, use my miracle to put every bragging Pharaoh to shame. Ah, legede gede gede basoto yengada bas regada bara bara basendele bosele shagada bara bara ringori araba basata yagada baskele. Are you praying? Are you praying? Are you praying? Are you praying? Use my miracle, Lord, to put them to shame. To put them to shame. In the name of Jesus. Shagada barabaske. Legede bosene. Regada barabas. Basata yagada barabarabaraba. Balengo de arabaskele. In Jesus. Mighty name of prayer. The last one on that. That one moved into Exodus 15 1. Show me. You will shout aloud. You say, oh Lord. Israel sang the song of victory. Prince will we sing glorious victory song in the name of Jesus. 15.1, not 15.9. 15.1. Shagada Baskene. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? We don't have all the time. Ah. We have this time is just running. It has sunk. Leave them. But you know what is it? Israel sank. They sank. You will sing. Amen. Say after making Israel sang. The song of victory. Prince Will Afalabi will sing the song of victory. In the name of Jesus. Begin to prophesy it. Begin to prophesy it. In the name of Jesus. Praise will have a We will sing. The song of victory. The song of victory. The song of victory. The song of victory. Reggae, 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 reggae. Shagada, bada, 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 bada. Basende, lebo, reggae, 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 reggae. Bayenge, reggae, reggae. Lord, I begin to sing. 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 The song of victory. The song of victory. The song of victory. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. I'm not a lawbreaker. I respect time. I will just pick three out of the many prayer points we have left. Let me just pick three. I would have loved to continue, but you know, Ayegu people are going to Ayegu. Akobo people are going to Akobo. Elebu people are going to Elebu. Liberty people are going to stay at Liberty. That's why they came late. Because they know that they are at Liberty. Now let's take this one. We are taking three quickly. Hear me. You say, I break loose from every chain holding me down. To this level, Agbara to di mi mo ipele i to je ki bobo mi mo se sapa mi ori ipele mi o mi o le kuro la ni ipele i oya ideyen ja 
Now, e ma gbo mi o. Be ba se ni to ba je ide lo de mi mo ipele oya jadanu. To ba je ohun, ohun lo de mi mo ipele oya loruko Jesu mo ja kuro. Elomi ohun lo de o. To ba je ipe lo de mi mo ipele Oluwa tu mi sile. Did you get all those prayer points? Lord, every chain holding me down, I break loose to this level. Every voice holding me to this level, break, holding me down to this level, I break loose. Every call holding me to this level, I break loose. I move to the next level. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray. Every power, every chain, every voice, every calling, every altar, tie me down to this level. Saying I will not go to the next. I break loose now. I break loose now. I break loose now. I break loose now. Begin to break loose. 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 Reggae de ge de ge de. Shagada barabas. Baseke le baske de. Reggae de ge de ge de. Raka yara barabas. I break loose. I like bad. I will not feel. No fit de me. Ah ah. Shall we be me? No feel de me. No child or call Jess. That you are. That you are. Legge de gedes. Basata ya gada gada. No child or call Jess. Hold on, my wife. Pili a yoto kan. Hold on, my wife. Pili a yoto kan. Badua. Pray for yourself. Pray for yourself. Pray for yourself. Yege de gedes. Santa ya ra barabas. Balige de gedes. Shagada bara bara bas. Basende le bos. In Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. Now, Emma Gomez, this one, she move for you. This next one, move for you. For our business people, new. At here, I want you to follow. Look at the scriptures. Second Kings chapter seven, six to nine. Hmm. Uluwato muki a wan Syria, ki wan bo oh. Awon iro ogun ton fi feru won le ton sa wa so fun olorun je ki awon ala igbagbo kan be si ni gbohun ti o mu won ma ta won kan ni won fun mi ya mi o wa nu bibeli o the riches of the hidians shall be laid for the righteous you be shocked elomi a gbo won a fi shogbo ile fun e ah la gba wa gba wa gba wa gba mi ta ja mo for the Lord had made the, the what? The host of the Syria to hear the noise of chariots and a noise of horses, even the noise of a great host. And they said one to another, Lo, the king of Israel has hired against us the kings of the Hittites and the kings of the Egyptians to come upon us. Next verse. Let's read again. Wherefore they arose and fled in the tree, yes, and left their tents and their horses and their asses, even the camp as it was, and fled for their life. Next verse. Next verse. Oh, yeah. And when the leopard came to the uttermost part of the camp, they went into one tent and did eat and drink and carried tents and, and silver and gold and raiment and went and hid it and came again. And entered into another and carried it. Wait, they now went to Israel and told the Israelites, Ewa wo, Ewa won't talk about. That day, they sold food in the cheapest way. Listen, when God wants to bless the righteous, I'm lowering my voice so that everybody will not hear me. When God wants to bless the righteous, He makes the unbelievers not to be able to sleep comfortably in their house. Come on, so come and rip your wall layout. A jabber me tally. A jabber me tally. On the pastor for Lavida. Eh, come my tea, see cash one bow, let she face some. 
When I saw it, God said to me, take it to break tonight. Listen, by this time next year, when you come for next year break tonight, some of you will already be landowners. House owners. You will buy companies at a very cheap price. The unbelievers will hear strange voices and they will sell their businesses to you. Are we set to pray that prayer now? Say after me. Hey, hey. Ah, where is the prayer point? Everyone. Everyone. Oh. <laughs> Say after me. Say after me. Everyone holding the key to my next level. Begin to hear now. The sound of the host of heaven. That will make you to release my next level keys. That's one. The second, you match it together. The second one, you say, every unbeliever that does not know God. Begin to hear now. The voice of the host of heavens. For you to release, sell to me what you have at ridiculous prices. Are you set to pray? Open your mouth and turn into prayers. Let's begin to pray. Let's begin to pray. Begin to hear the host of heaven. Ah, Nick Bogu, I want to decorate it. Let it come. Ah, for a year, memo. Ebrez, Nick Bogu, Lord God, Jesus, Iro Guanu, Reka Yarababa say, To Mamuim, Ebrez, Nick Jawa, I want to decorate it. Let it come for a year, me. In the name of Jesus. Every unbeliever, hear me. You do not know God. Ah, let God begin to hear the, the voice of the host of heavens so that prophecy will be fulfilled in my life in the name of Jesus. Pray, pray, pray. We have one more. We have one more. We have one more. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. The last one, Isaiah 43, 19. Isaiah 43, 19. Isaiah 43, 19. Lake Gadaba said, Isaiah 43 and verse 19. But so go and make sure you go and continue that prayer point at all. He said, Behold, what will I do? I will do a new thing. <laughs> what will now happen? Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not see it? Know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Make way for me. For my miracle to come. Do the new thing you have promised. In my life in the name of Jesus. Turn into prayers right now. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Make way for me, Lord. Let the new thing you have promised begin to emerge. In the name of Jesus. You are able to make way in the wilderness. Make way for me, Lord. 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 Make way for me, O God. Thank you, Father. There's no time. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. These two of our ministers lift the communion. Bring it here. Do you have your prayer request with you? How many of you have your prayer request with you? Rem that you want to break out from. Lift it up. Now, and you know that every year like that, when we give a prayer request on the altar, we give a, a breakthrough seed. I didn't hear any instruction of any amount. That's why I didn't tell you, give you any peculiar instruction before now. Whatever is a seed to you, as you lay your prayer request down on the altar, just put it on the altar. Now, lift up those prayer requests I want to pray. Shagada baskele. The Lord that answered by fire, you didn't be my God. The Lord that answered by fire, let him be my God. The Lord that answered by fire, let him be my God. The Lord that answered by fire. Let him be my God. Father, we thank you for Breakthrough Night 2023. 
Your children have come with their prayer requests, believing that you are the only God that can do it. And of, of a surety, Lord, what you will not do, nobody can do. Therefore, I pray over all these requests today, let there be a strange, positive visitation from your throne that will make your children to enjoy the miracle and come to share testimony to the glory of your name. In the name of Jesus! Let every obstacle on the way be removed in Jesus' name. Thank you for this is done. Father, honor the seed of your people and thank you for answering their prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, sit down. When it is time, I will tell you where to put it.